All right, this is going to be Pythagorean theorem. Um, examples to help you with your Excel, Q1, Q2, and Q3, I believe. Okay, so we just talked about the notes on what it is. We're going to follow the steps that we've just gone over in our steps. So the first thing it told us to do is draw a triangle. We've already drawn a triangle, or the triangle's already there for us. So we don't have to do anything with that. Second thing it said, labeled A, B, and C. All right, always start with your C, because C is easy. C is always opposite your 90 degrees. So find your 90 degrees, go opposite, and that is C. All right, label your legs A and B. It doesn't matter what order it is. I already see they've labeled uh, B, so I can label this A. Step number three, what does it say? Write down, and I'm going to write it right here, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Step number four, replace the uh, numbers for letters. So where I see A, I'm not going to put A anymore. I'm going to put what? 30. So I put 30 squared plus where I see B. I'm not going to put B. I'm going to put what it is. And I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to leave it as that. B squared equals where I see C. I'm going to put in good, 50 squared. Okay. Once I replace the numbers for letters, number five says solve it for the unknown. Okay, so I need to make B the subject. All right, so let's go ahead first and go ahead and uh, get rid of uh, the exponents. 30 squared, all right, 30 times 30 is equal to 900 plus B squared is equal to 50 squared is 50 times 50, which is equal to 2500. Now, I want to get B by itself, so what am I going to do to both sides? Subtract 900. That goes away. I have B squared equals 0, 0, 25 minus 9, 10, 1600. Now, does anyone know how to get rid of a squared? Remember, to get rid of something, it's always opposite. Like, to get rid of positive 900, I subtracted. So how would I get rid of squared? What is the opposite of squared? All right, it is actually the square root. So I'm going to square root both sides to get rid of it. And I'm going to get B, this two cancel. So I'm going to get B equals. And the square root of 1,600 is going to be 400. So B is equal to 400 miles. Number two, which is more so the kind of questions that you're going to see on your EOC or word problems, okay? Big thing about word problems is identifying what it's saying. So the step one for us has told us to draw a triangle. So we need to draw a triangle out of all this. So let's imagine Tess is playing on a slide, okay? So a slide is something that you go down. Over and over, she climbs a three-foot ladder, okay? When you think about climbing a ladder, you're going to go up. All right, so I'm going to draw a triangle, okay? I'm going to draw a three-foot ladder, so she climbs up the ladder, and then she goes down the slide. There's Tess. Yay, down the slide. So she goes down the slide to the bottom. Okay. Uh, she climbs a three-foot ladder. I'm going to go ahead and write down what it says as well. Three feet. She climbs a three-foot ladder, goes down the slide, and walks four feet to get back to the ladder. So she's going to walk four feet to get back to the ladder. How far does Tess travel each time she repeats this process? Okay, so first things we need to find is obviously we need to find this angle, this side right here, where Tess is sliding down. All right, that's always going to be opposite your 90 degree angle. So opposite your 90 degree angle, that's gonna be C. It says draw a triangle, label A, B, and C. So I'm going to label, it doesn't matter if I pick this as A and this is B or this is A and this is B, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna say this is A, that's B, and that's C because it's opposite the 90. Okay, so let's find what C is. All right, so we're gonna have to write down the equation. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Step four, replace numbers for letters. Where I see A, I'm gonna put in what number? Good. 4 squared plus where I see B, I'm going to put in what number? Good. 3 squared equals, and I don't know what C is, so C squared. Okay. Once I've written it down, solve for the unknown. So 4 squared is 16 
plus 3 squared is 9 equals c squared. What's 16 plus 9? 25 equals c squared. Now remember, I have to get rid of this squared. To get rid of this squared, I have to take the opposite. What's the opposite of squared? Square root. So take the square root of both sides, because that's going to cancel, and then take the square root of that. I'm going to get c is equal to 5. So c right here is equal to 5. Now I'm going to reread the question because this is on the EOC. It's big. I get lost in my calculations and I don't answer the question. All right. The question is, how far does Tess travel each time she repeats this process? What process is it talking about? She's playing on the slide. Over and over, she climbs a three-foot ladder. So she's going to climb the three-foot ladder. Then she goes down the slide. So then she's going to go down the slide. And then she's going to walk four feet back. So... That's the process she's talking about. How far, how far does she travel when she does this whole loop? She goes 3 plus 5 plus 4. Okay, so 3 plus 5 plus 4. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So she travels 12 feet. All right, so this is a sample kind of EOC question. Not only will you be able to find what the missing side is, but you answer the question in which it asks. So that's how you do number 2. All right, let's take a look at number three. Again, it's another word problem. All right, so again, the first thing we're going to do is have to draw a triangle. All right, so I can't even pronounce this. Crestoville is 20 miles due north. Okay, when you think north, um, hopefully you know this, but I'll draw it on the side just in case you don't know. Uh, this is north, never, east, Eat shredded wheat. That's how I remember it. North, east, south, west. Okay, that's how it goes. So north is going up. All right, so when I draw a triangle, I'm going to draw... Castleville is 20 miles north of the airport. So say this is the airport. This is a plane. Yeah. All right, airport. Castleville is 20 miles north. So going straight up. That's going to be to Castleville. I'm just going to label it C. A for airport, C for Castleville. That's 20. Boonville is due east of the airport. So I go from the airport and east is going directly to the right. This is Boonville. B for Boonsville. All right. And then obviously that's my right triangle. And Boonsville is due east. If the distance between Castleville and Boonville, so the distance between C and B is 29 miles, how far is Boonville from the airport? How far is Boonville from the airport? So they really want to know what that is. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We've drawn our triangle. We're going to label it A, B, and C. So again, C is always opposite. So that's C. A and B doesn't matter. All right. We've labeled it. It says write down the equation. Well, I know the equation is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Perfect. Uh, step four, replace the numbers for letters. So A is 20 squared plus b, I don't know, so b squared equals c squared, which is 29 squared. Okay, and then go ahead and solve it. 20 squared, 20 times 20 is 400, plus b squared equals, and 29 times 29 is 841. So then how do I get b on it by itself? I'm going to go ahead and subtract 400 from both sides. Minus 400 is 441. So b squared is 441. The opposite of squared is again square root. So we're going to square root both sides, which is equal to b is equal to 21. All right, reread the question to make sure I answer the question. How far is Boonville from the airport? Boonville from the airport is b. b is 21, so your answer is 21 miles. Okay, nice and simple. 